Hi and welcome, I'm Glenn. This week's tutorial is the Bee Hotel. A massive thank you to Isabella and her students from Hurstville Adventist School who asked if we could use the splat to help them design their bee hotel. It's a big push all around the world to help look after native species. I had no idea there was over 1,700 species in Australia. You're looking here at an amazing drawing by Gillian the Imaginaturalist. Gillian works with schools close to the Hunter and the classes she works with learn how to study and draw, for instance, a field guide of all the insects and plants surrounding their school. Thanks for loaning us some of your work, Gillian. We love it. My starting point for this drawing is way over the left side of the page, because I'm planning on doing two drawings. So we'll start off with step one, trace around the outside of the splat. Now draw in two edges of the cube. One there and there. Great. We're going to draw a roof. There's two points right there and there. So place a mark halfway. Now the corner of the splat goes onto that mark. And then draw a line that's straight up and down or vertical. It goes from the blip down. Now use a ruler to connect there to there. So that's part of the roof. And then at the back, dot to dot. Cool, so that's the triangle of the roof. Now I'm going to put the point of the splat on the top and I'm going to run a line on the splat angle backwards. Once you've done that, grab your ruler and then connect those two points. You may choose to erase that line depending on your design. Make a really short line that comes down from the point of the roof. Then watch as I copy each of the lines at the front to create the edges of the pieces of timber. I think I'll make this line a cross piece of timber. I could go below or above. In this case, I'll go above. And on the floor, I'll come up as well. Normally, we'd see a line where the wall meets the floor. I'm going to leave them out of this drawing because it's going to be full of sticks for the bees to nest in. I'm drawing a clay pipe that gets filled with mud for some species. I'm going to draw it in here and use the small ellipse, but what angle? Have a look at those two little lines. If you line them up with your drawing, that's the right angle to draw the end of the pipe. Trace around the outside of it to draw an even larger pipe, and then a few short lines going back. Let's draw a stick. Some bees like to nest inside holes board into the stick. There's the growth rings. So let's have a go at drawing something like that in our bee hotel. There it is drawn inside the hotel. And now lots of bees like lantana and um, soft centered stems. So I'm going to completely pack uh, medium and small stems all around there. And what about that area in the top? I've divided it in half with another piece of timber and I'm drawing a clay pipe. It should be fairly easy for you to do some research and find out what species of native bees live around you. You might be surprised to find that lots of them are actually stingless. Now what hotel would be complete without a big sign on top? So I'm drawing a line, two lines on the splat angle and then two vertical lines so drop two lines straight down. And that's my rectangle drawn in 3D. You can draw some sort of a border around it if you like. But remember, if you put any writing on it, the writing needs to be on the splat angle as well. Let's connect it to the structure by dropping down a little cylinder. Here's how to draw a cartoon bee out of any kind of shape really, let's start with a rectangle and put an eye, maybe a stinger, 
a few stripes. It doesn't have to be yellow and black like a honeybee. Some native bees are blue coloured. A few antennae, and we all know bees have six legs, but we only draw four on a cartoon bee. This larger one is a teddy bear bee from Western Australia. Let's add some buzzing wings. Here's how to attach it to a post. From the top, come across a little bit and then draw two short lines with the splat. Flip the splat upside down and draw your two far edges. We're going to drop some lines straight down. I'm going to use a ruler. So there's one, two, three points where you need to drop lines down. If you hit the motel, skip over and keep going for a little bit. And make sure your three lines are parallel. Great. So that it doesn't look like a metal post, if you put a little bit of grain along the long side and then on the end, some little growth rings to make it look like timber. My next step is to go all the way around the outside of the cutting line, a darker or firmer line. And now for my second drawing. We're going to start off in exactly the same way, but we are going to make some changes. We are going up market for the second bee hotel. Hey, I've learned that all bees love some water, not tap water. It's got to be rainwater. But I wonder how you could um, design a solution to store the rainwater and then supply it to the bees. Here I've uh, nearly finished drawing the basic shape. Now I'm going to place the splat corner right up next to the other drawing and start another cube. So let's slide up and draw those two edges. But this time, when I draw the triangle, I'm going to go halfway along that line and put a mark. Using the splat to get that line straight up and down. Then connecting those two points with a line, I've got another peak. Just like before, we put the splat there, but I'm coming over to the left splat angle and draw a line. Now, the top of the roof is called the ridge. So I'm going to extend the ridge. Let me just sketch it in for you along there and along there and where they meet or intersect roughly there is where the ridge turns around a corner. So there'll be a little crease or a line, a join there somewhere. Let's erase a few lines and see how it looks. Oh, now we're looking like B Hotel. This would be much more difficult to make. I'm not suggesting you do. It's more of a drawing exercise. So let's see how far we can go with it. The ends of the sticks should be covered for about three centimeters to stop the rain rotting them. So I'm drawing on the splat angle, those little joins. Now from the end of that short line, I'm going to copy that splat corner and draw two lines. And at the top, let's copy the bottom one onto the floor like that. So now that's the um, wall that I'd create the end of all my sticks and pipes. Let's have a look at the other end. I'm going to offset a line like I did before. Offset means to copy a line all the way around a shape. You can offset on the inside or the outside. Here I'm offsetting an inside line. Because it's made out of pieces of timber, I'm going to need a join line right there. I'm drawing the corner of the room uh, and I'm going to make it go back a lot further because this room is open. Because this is the pool room. And there's the water and there's a little bee sitting on an airbed. This little shade will keep the sun off the hard little worker. When you're happy with your design, then tidy it up by pressing a little bit firmer with your pencil. I'm using a felt tip, but very tricky to fix up mistakes. Then a little bit of rendering or colouring in to make it look 3D. I'm using a brown pencil here, darker on one side than the other. 
When it comes to do the B Hotel, I had to go and look for a different color brown. And here's my designs. I'm really happy with how they turned out. When you've drawn them, have a go at creating your own shapes. Thanks for joining in. Happy designing.